I've been asked to, to know what the vision uh, behind uh, donating the land uh, to make it available for this project. Uh, the diocese, I think, made that decision with a, a vision of, of building a community in which elderly people could uh, comfortably live, elderly people who found it perhaps difficult living on their own in their own homes, particularly in isolated areas, and that, that these people could live in this community uh, and, uh, you know, have that uh, help available to them which they need. Bishop Willie Walsh had a vision, and the Diocese of Killaloo made the land available. But just as important was the appointment of a dynamic and experienced board, strong on leadership qualities with a broad range of skills and expertise, capable of delivering that vision. Phase one saw the delivery of 12 houses and a daycare centre. Despite being the largest town in Munster, Ennis didn't have a dedicated daycare centre before the completion of Phase 1 of Coon on Clore in 2015. The centre has been full every day since and continued to provide an invaluable service throughout the COVID period. Phase 2 is a construction and restoration project with community at its heart. The expansive site included the remains of a characterful courtyard and several outbuildings, which have been creatively and sensitively restored and adapted to meet the needs and aspirations of its new community, comprising older people and people with disability. In addition, new houses were constructed together with the Communal Centre for All Residents to support the community ethos, which has underpinned the Coon on Clore project from the start. The Phase 2 site was previously part of the working farm of nearby St. Flannan's College when it was a boarding school. Amongst former boarders put to work to pick potatoes and harvest vegetables were Bishop Willie Walsh, and President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. In all, 14 houses have been delivered under Phase 2. The architects for Phase 2 are Hassett and Leighton Ennis, project management by Tom McNamara and Partners, and construction by Cool Sivna. A central driver of Coon on Clore's community ethos is Chairperson Pauline McNamara, who has a long established track record of thinking outside the box to create approaches and services outside the norm within facilities dedicated to older people. While matron of Raheen Community Hospital, Pauline introduced services and supports considered radical at the time, including an artist in residence programme together with strong emphasis on the delivery of stimulating, creative pastimes and projects. Her visionary approach is given expression at Coon and Clore through exceptional detail, designed to engender a genuine sense of community. From opportunities to garden, to the communal baking, to taking care of fowl, residents are encouraged to remain sociable and for those able to, to continue working and to take pride in their environment. Ennis had to wait a long time for a daycare centre of its own, but having a centre where arts, crafts, computers, wellness and beauty therapies are as much part of everyday life as a healthy meal has made the wait worthwhile for its dedicated users. Similarly, Residents of Phase 2 have been able to enjoy sheltered outdoor gatherings, even socially distanced ones, in the canopied gathering area tucked inside the east wall of the beautifully restored courtyard. I would like to say how grateful I am to Pauline, Mary, 
Willie and Tom for their ongoing support throughout this cancer journey. Their kindness and generosity of spirit has exceeded my expectations and I am eternally grateful. Thank you. I contracted the COVID virus but made a good recovery and then I was allocated number 18 here at Coon on Shore and the committee Pauline and Mary and Tom, Willie, they all made me so welcome and I am so happy here. It's really heaven on earth for me. Uh, and I'm certainly delighted how the project has turned out, turned out through the enormous work which so many people have done.